Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and I'm doing a SPY market review. I actually called the market this morning in the room aggressively. It was an incredible call because this really isn't some fantastic bullish gap. But I saw the market was going to hold today. I saw the market was going to rally today in the gap. I also saw, and I'm saying right now, that the market is going to make a new high today. It's 11 o'clock. It's Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, 11 o'clock on Wednesday, and the market's going to make a new high today. Uh, the prior high is 213. Dream target today is 215. That's almost $5 from here. And where I called it this morning, it was an incredible call because this really isn't some fantastic bullish gap. But I did see the gap and read the gap correctly and knew the numbers. Again, it's all about the numbers. I mean, that's how I really know how to trade so well. And you, you learn that from reading gaps, which I teach in the gap class, which is the 26 golden gap rating points. Anyways, getting back to this, once we get over 211, we will really, 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 really blow. Like, I don't know what time of the day that happens today. It could happen soon here, right around lunch, around 12 o'clock, another hour, or before. But this is like no chance of failure that the market's higher this year. And I've been discussing this for a long time. Again, this is going to be one of the greatest things I've ever called because I'm seeing it so far in advance, what the market's going to do, bullish. And many people have been calling this market for more than the last year to fall, to crash, to break, to change trend. People are still saying the market's going to crash. People are still saying the market's not going to get over the high. People are still saying that after the market gets up over the high, it's going to crash after that because people are saying it's extended. And I'm saying that it's not. And 211 is the number we blow over today. Prior high is around 213-ish over here, which happened last year. Actually happened in December, December, January, February, March, April. Yeah, so it took about four months for the market to get going again here, and it's going to do it. April, I knew, would be a bullish month. It's continuing and following through. This is amazing, though, the way that we're doing this, because i got to tell you, this gap today was not something that, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, this gap is not something that, this, this daily, what I'm trying to say is that the gap in the market, it was a bullish gap up today. And you don't buy every gap up, you're not sure every gap down. But I'm saying this was a tough bullish gap for the market to hold. And the fact that we did and we held it so aggressively, we held it perfectly at the least level of support. And we held it right away in the first five minutes and everything that it held the numbers perfectly. I'm saying that that is a sign, a sign of strength. It gives me confirmation and conviction that the market's higher and we'll make a new high today. Because we didn't really have to do this in the gap today. Although I did say in the room this morning, it doesn't matter what the market does today, it's bullish. Like I saw it this morning, I saw it in the gap. That literally, that we, I said if we could fell all morning long, we'd still be bullish today and hold bullishly and flip and close bullishly. And yesterday I said the market would be neutral. That we'd fall first and then rally. Or rally first and then fall. And we basically ended up closing, actually quite frankly, pretty bullish it was more than neutrals, beyond neutral. It was neutral slash bullish. We did fall on morning yesterday, but I knew we weren't going to go anywhere. I knew it. And when I saw the gap this morning, I was like, wow, because I really was surprised that we were gapping up this much. But then again, because of the look of this thing. And But then again, I'm really not surprised that anything the market does bullishly because this market is so strong. So I say that, but then I'm like, you know what? It's so great. And this is so great. The market is a perfect chart to the upside in ways I can't even explain. And I was talking about the room this morning. I said, I'm going to have to make a, a new name for the market because fabulous doesn't even describe how the market. And when I say on my it doesn't even describe what I'm thinking when I see the market. It's like I have to find words to better describe. I'm going to make a word to describe how amazingly bullish this market is because there isn't a word right now in the current vocabulary language that can describe the, how fabulous this market is enough. I'm going to have to make up a new one just like I've made up a lot of new words. But I called the market long right in here. <laughs> Literally. And the target's 215. 213 is realistic. 211 for sure. 212, 213, 215 is the target for the market today. And I call this aggressively. This was so aggressive. It was so beautiful, though. I mean, really a beautiful call. So you could be long the market today. You're in it to the target. You could be out a little bit if you wanted to, just to get out of something profitable in the morning. But the market will hold this beautiful, beautiful green bar today. That is the low of the day in the market. It was 209.95-ish. That's the low of the day in the SPY. Market is higher. Follow through tomorrow as well. Even if we get over the high today, follow through tomorrow. Follow through here. We're going to see follow through three green days at least. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. 
And if we don't get up over the high today, which, which you know, I believe that we do unless we run out of day. And we could run out of day. The market closes at 4. So if we run out of day, either way, follow through tomorrow. Follow through tomorrow no matter what. And no chance of failure, follow through tomorrow. Whether it's in the gap or in the live day, however it sets up, market higher today and tomorrow. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you have any questions or are interested in how to read trends and gaps and how to day trade and how to read longer term trends, how to read the market, how to make money in the stock market, how to read price action, how to read money, which I am extremely, extremely good at doing. The next Golden Gap class is April 25th and 26th. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Have a fantastic day, everyone.